Cars. What's up, big guy? Good to be here. Uh, so, tell us, this is your first trade show where you have is a part, part of the booth, correct? No, so last year we had, um, I was still in the booth, okay. but the sign I had made, they wanted like, I don't know if it was remember, like, like $500 or $600 just to hang it for me. So I was like, okay, well, we're not going to do it. So this is the first year I actually have my own sign within the booth. Banner. Yeah, yeah. So it's a big step, man, for me. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, so how, how are the lines doing? You have the two lines. Yeah, Connecticut Habano. Yeah, it's very good, man. Um, it's very interesting. Uh, it's weird to hear people come to you and say, oh, I've heard of it. Because when I go into shops throughout the country, when I travel, they're like, never heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it's kind of good. Well, I feel like a lot of the shop guys, you know, they they might not follow social media as much. Sure. Uh, yeah, absolutely. And when you see post from Rich or somebody, yeah, that looks really nice. You know, that's, yeah. the cigar smokers, mm -hmm. yes, that's, that's who's seen it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, really recognizable. Uh, the color patina means what again? So patina is an oxidation process. Um, that leaves kind of like that green film on the uh, on an object or like a statue or something like that. So right. um, there's a lot of different ways you can run with it, and uh, you know as we go forward in the future, uh, I plan on doing that. Cool. Uh, so if the patina habano, yeah, it's a chicken dish, okay. any type of chicken dish, yeah, what would it be? Would it be that? that sauce on your wings that has all the flavor you want without burning your tongue. That's how I describe it. That's good stuff. And you had once asked me, Dom, an embarrassing story. You're not embarrassing, but a story where you're like in your cigar yes, evolution. Yes, so I'm going to answer that right now. Okay, perfect. When I had moved down to, uh, to Tulsa back in 2012, I had a my first Zycar lighter. The first lighter that and it was given to me as a gift so my first like above a big lighter if that makes right. sense yeah and I didn't and I forgot about TSA and so I lost that lighter about two weeks after getting it that as sucks. a gift so yeah that's sucks. and I tried to explain to them the sentimental value of it and they didn't care uh, I've lost a good knife going into a bar yeah it happens it happens yeah but I didn't even recognize them with this Normally he's like either shirtless well, or... I'm doing, I'm doing wine shirt again tomorrow. Oh, okay, good. So we're back to normal. Yeah. Good. Nice, I thought... Oh, actually, I'm not going to say anything. Thanks a lot, man. Good.